This video is sponsored by Clip Flip. You can take a look at their website at www.clipflip.com. Hey guys, today we're doing a review of the Phantom case for the iPhone 4 and 4S by Casemate. Now this case will cost you $50 exactly and is available in four different colors. Raspberry and lime, navy and aqua, black and white, and that's what I have here, and the final color, aqua and white. Now this case is a two-piece case and it's made from duoflex and polycore materials to add a lot of protection. So um, the reason it is a two-piece case is you start by putting your iPhone 4 or 4S into this snap-on case, kind of a snap-on piece that will protect the left and right side and the front, and then what you do is you then push the completed piece into the larger case which will then complete it making it the phantom case. So I'm going to start by putting my phone into the case and I'll always go button side first as it does make it a lot easier. Then just push on just like that, make sure everything's clicked on and it should be and then you're good to go. So this is what the front of the case will look like. As you can see it does have a covered home button with the Casemate logo right there and it does look very nice. You will be getting a kind of rubberish silicon material, to, uh, thermoplastic elastomer material right here just to make it feel kind of nice and also add a little draw protection if it does land on the face. And now let's put it into the larger case. Now because this case it does plug in, like it does uh, fill in the different ports, you will want to kind of open them just to make sure they don't get in the way during the installation. Then you kind of, it's not a very easy process, you kind of put it in and you push in as hard as you can and eventually it will kind of snap on. Uh, let me see if I can do it. It's not a very easy process, but once you get it in, it's definitely in there. So um, make sure all the openings are good. Maybe just give one less, one last push and that looks about it. Now you are able to just close all the little ports and there you go you have your properly installed phantom case now the, the the look of the case is very nice I do like how it has the white the white streaks going all the way around and then also near the camera cutouts and it does have one of the coolest camera cutouts I've ever seen in a case I do like how it has the curved edge here and then a kind of rectangle look right there and it does look very nice now it does have the Casemate logo right there and then on the uh, side right here, I don't know if the camera can make that out, but it does say Casemate right along the side right there in the nice white color it does offer. Now let's get into the cutouts first and I'll get in, then, I'll, then I'll get into my review. So you'll be getting an open cutout, kind of an open or closed cutout depending on what you want for your 30 pin dock connector. Obviously when you do want to charge you simply open it up. Now you might have a hard time docking this but for someone like me who doesn't really use a docking station it's perfectly fine. Now as you kind of see, as you see there are three holes that open up for your speaker and microphone. Now I did think for a second or two when I did first try this out that maybe the volume would be kind of muffled or distorted and kind of uh, leaked. You know it wouldn't be as, it wouldn't be, it would be quieter and then also the microphone wouldn't be able to pick up as much sound but it did work very nicely I did not actually hear any effects uh, to the sound or the recording quality which is always a nice thing and it will keep out lint, dust, all this stuff all these different particles that can get into your ports and same with this alright now on the left side of the case you do have a closed cutout it's just a covered cutout for your volume up and down rockers and they are pretty clicky which is nice Not it's a very nice not too hard, not too soft feel. So it will definitely be clicky while not um, feeling weird on your fingers. Now, um, right here you will be getting a, a kind of a, uh, a closed cutout or an open cutout. Same with the 30 pin dock connector for your volume, excuse me, for your mute and unmute switch. Now this is not a huge complaint, but I did notice that it was a little difficult to switch between mute and unmute because not only is it pretty deep cutout as you can kind of see, but there are little, there are pieces of kind of a plasticky material right in there, so you kind of have to dig your finger in just to 
uh, change from b between mute and unmute, but definitely not a big complaint. I'm not going to take up any points for that in my rating. It's definitely it's just something that I just noticed that was kind of a distraction. Now on the top, you will be getting a even when it is closed, you'll be getting a little open hole for the secondary microphone, which is a, definitely a nice piece. I thought that that was definitely a good thing to remember. Now when you do open it, you will be able to um, use earphones. Now headphones may not be able to work. In all situations because of how close it does get to the the jack right here um, not right here but on, right here the side is a little too close so maybe um, not every headphone pair will work DJ headphones probably not and finally um, the last uh, the last button the power button right there it is covered and very clicky once again works very well and back to the camera cutout looks very nice now I don't know if the cam if the camera can uh, make that out. I think it looks like it can, but there's a little bit of a lip right here on the end. It kind of goes from flat and then a little bit of a curve right there, and I do like that very much. It makes setting it on the table kind of feel very nice, and then it make it adds a lot of support, so it doesn't kind of move around on whatever material you do put it on. And I do think it works very nicely. Now for fifty dollars, this case will have a lot of protection. As I mentioned before, the face is protected fully because it does have a built-in screen protector. I don't think I mentioned that before, but I am now. It does have a built-in screen protector, so if something does drop on it, a coin or whatever, you put this in your pocket and you have change, it's not going to scratch up your your uh, your your uh, your iPhone screen, which is definitely a nice thing to do. Um, so overall, I do think this case is very nice. It's going to protect the entire phone. Uh, no matter what it is, the entire phone is protected. Uh, one last thing that I do want to mention before I end this review is that because this is made out of a thermoplastic elastomer or a rubberish silicon material, this is going to attract dust like crazy. And because it does have the open cutout for your FaceTime camera and your microphone, um, it's going to attract a lot of dust and lint and going to get it to suck, going to get it uh, sucked in or stuck into this kind of opening little deep opening right there so that's not hard to clean out you kind of just blow in it and then it will um, all the dust will be uh, kind of pushed out but that's just something to uh, think about so overall it's a great case I do recommend it 100% to someone looking for something that will protect their phone fully I do want to thank Casemate for sending me out the Phantom case for review today alright guys that's it thanks for watching bye